Hey guys, what's up? It's Nadia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a Tate McRae concert and I'm so freaking excited. I say that in every one of my videos, but I truly am very excited. I'm going to the Tate McRae concert tonight, like I said. I literally bought the ticket so last minute. I bought it literally two days ago. <laughs> two days ago. I heard she came out with her concert or I heard she came out with her tour date tickets back last year, at the end of last year. And I really wanted to buy her tickets, but I didn't. I was like, let me save money for a little bit and then I just never bought her tickets until two days ago <laughs> and then at first I wasn't gonna buy it just because I was like I need to save money for like other people that I haven't seen before because I already seen her back in October of last year but, like I need I'm gonna save like my money so I can see other people that I haven't seen yet but then I'm like I really want to see her again you know um so yeah I bought the ticket two days ago here I am, gonna see her tonight. And it was so cool because last year I also seen Olivia Rodrigo. At her concert, like on the balcony, which was pretty cool. So I'm gonna get ready soon. The time is currently 2.38 and I'm gonna leave my house at 3.30. I'm gonna get ready right now. Literally I had work at 7 a.m. I got off at 12.30 and I'm freaking exhausted. That's why I'm gonna get an energy drink and today is also 7-Eleven day. If you guys know, you know. Um, you get free slippers on 7-Eleven day. Okay, we're gonna fix my outfit. I'm gonna leave my house at like 4 p.m. or like maybe 3.30, maybe a little past 3, but before 4 p.m. But the things I have to do is straighten and curly my hair and put on makeup, not, not too much. And then fix my outfit because she's not like cute. Like, mm. Pack my backpack. Not really like pack my backpack. Travel size deodorant, travel size perfume. That's about it. And I'm gonna bring my little lemon bag for my wallet and hand sanitizer and all that jazz. Yeah. And also I have to finish my transitions that I did earlier today. So my hair salon person, what's it called? Hairstylist is coming in about five minutes. So the lighting's kind of bad. I'm gonna call my hairstylist. We need to get going. I need to leave in less than an hour. Hairstylist! And then while she's doing my hair, I'm probably gonna edit because I have three videos to edit, including this one. So, <laughs> versus what fits Sabrina or myself as an artist. So, this is my hair. It took forever. The time is almost 4 p.m. and I have to be heading out pretty soon. I wanna kind of like make it like not messy, but like kind of like my curls to be like flatter. I wanna try to give Tate McRae type of vibes. Well, this is her hair. I want to give that type of vibe with my hair. And also with this outfit. This is the outfit I'm going for today. I could brush it out, but I'm kind of scared. What if it gets too flat and it just looks like straightened hair? I want to like at least see the curls a little bit. Okay, whatever. She's fine. <laughs> okay, let me change real quick. Well, actually, let me do my makeup first. I am dressed. Let me do a little OOTD. Don't mind my messy room, okay? I am in love with this fit. Like, sure, I got it from Tate McRae's tour last year. Wait, was it a tour or was it just a concert for a day? I don't even know. I think it was a tour. Yes. <laughs> and then jeans, or they're called jorts, I think. Um, these are from, actually, I got it from my stepdad. He doesn't know I'm wearing it, so shh. I just feel like it gives Tate McRae. I was planning on wearing this. I tried it on and everything. It was, first of all, humongous. Second of all, it looked like I was going to a basketball game. Okay, let me just try it on for you guys, because you guys need to see this. So humongous. Well, I, I think she like wears humongous stuff, but it looked like a basketball game. It looks like I'm a like little kid about to play some basketball. Let's go through some hoops. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> And I tucked it like in because I feel like that's what she does. And I have some marks on my belly. I don't know if you guys can see it really. Um, it's because I was wearing my waist trainer for freaking four days. I took it off for a split second in Las Vegas. That was just for a TikTok, but then I put it right back on. So probably not the best idea because now you can see some marks and I'm kind of red and I'm itchy. The time is currently like 4.10, so I have to film these transitions and then get going. So if you want to see the transitions, go to my TikTok, My Lady the Queen, and I'll also be posting it on my shorts. So make sure to go watch that.
10 years later, I finally got the right one. <laughs> Took so many tries. Okay, let me post it real quick, and then we'll be heading out the road, or, or on the road. Perfume of the day will be my eyelash perfume. Okay, it is really hot right now. The weather is like 91 degrees. Better than Las Vegas. Las Vegas was 120 degrees. First, I'm gonna head to 7-Eleven because free Slurpee. Other than halfway of peach, other than the rest, it's the blue. Yeah. You're gonna fill it all the way to the top. Look at that. It's not even filled, bro. Well, it's free, but still. But I'm gonna blast some Tamer Cray. Usually, I'll leave early to concerts. But, like, I'm talking about like 10 a.m. or like Vanessa Barrett, for example. I'll stay like not overnight, but like I'll I'll end up in line at like 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. But I'm not like trying to be there early early because for this one it's like assigned seats because since I like got like the balcony um, I'm pretty sure it's assigned seats this is my first ever time going to a concert and having an assigned seat because every time I go to a concert I always be like the first row or the second row I kind of have to save money but like I really 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 wanted to see Tamer Cray the floor was freaking over $1,000 and I'm like maybe not and I'm <gasps> look at that oh, it's my girl Kylie Oh, what the heck? They can't use the billboard. Can't wait for to send this tomorrow. It's gonna be so slay. But I have to finish the um, like recent too. <laughs> Believe it or not, I never watched these send this before, but I'm excited for this one mainly because of Kylie. Let's be honest. Kylie and Ruby I'm most excited for. I'm almost done with my Slurpee. But after that I'm gonna drink my monster. I never tried that flavor monster. I don't really to be honest, I don't really love monster like that. I prefer Alani energy drinks, um, but they didn't have Alani. I'm gonna try that one, but I want to try it on camera, but I can't like set my camera up on the dashboard, you know, because it's gonna be sliding and I'm gonna break it. I'll tell you if I like it or not, but it's called like strawberry drink. It better be good. So, okay, yeah. Eight minutes until I arrive. Why am I freaking nervous? I have butterflies in my stomach. Oh, but there's this girl on TikTok. She looks exactly like Tate McRae. Not like just a little bit like, yeah, kind of. No, like if you were to show me like this girl, I would think it's Tate McRae. Like I arrive in seven minutes and I am freaking nervous. I don't know why. I've been to so many concerts, but I'm kind of nervous because I feel like this is going to be like a big, not a big concert, but kind of a big concert. I feel like the last time I seen her, compared to the last time I seen her, like I feel like this one's going to be more bigger than the last one just because the last one was kind of like, we're like closer to her. I don't know. Oh yeah. And also, I'm almost done with this. Um, yeah. It's called Strawberry Dream. And the first sip I took, it was yucky. But the second sip, it was amazing. I don't know what changed, but it's so good. But I feel like energy drinks give me a headache. Like, I low-key have a headache right now. I arrive in seven minutes. Still, that's LA for you. Like, literally, it's like the same minute for like 10 minutes. Oh my god, guys. I am so freaking mad. It took forever to find parking. What, what am I doing? I was about to put my seatbelt on. It took me forever to find parking. I came in this one parking, like, grass thingy for the like it's literally by the venue that's why it's freaking expensive it's fifty dollars and then i told the lady no one's looking at me because i'm talking really fast and i look like a retard i was about to park here and then the lady told me it was fifty dollars and i'm like uh no so i was trying to find other parking lots she told me that there was one like by the freeway so i went over there i was searching everywhere couldn't find one and then i was about to park in this other parking like mountain thing it took me up the mountain i'm wasting more time talking but it's okay they told me i wasn't allowed to park there for the greek theater so i was driving around multiple times i couldn't find anything so i came back to the spot i was the first time i wasted freaking 45 minutes for nothing i just spent 50 dollars on parking but i don't care because i do not have time right now and i'm so freaking mad also because when i was trying to like park in the like mountain thing um that's when like they told me i couldn't park there i freaking i swear i'm not 100 sure but i freaking positive I, 
I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that I freaking seen Alex Warren and Culver. I didn't see Culver, but I just seen Alex and I seen a girl next to him. I didn't really get a look at the girl, but I seen Alex Warren and oh no. They're currently like going viral technically because, well, they already like been like viral, like famous type, but like even more because of their wedding. And I was so close to getting in my car, but like it was like the two what's it called the two-way drive thingy like one this way one that way so i couldn't like actually stop and that would be like kind of like creepy if someone were to stop like that and then to like i don't know it kind of gives like creepy vibes anyways okay i need to go was i talking very loud i felt like i was shouting also when i was driving i seen a big line so i'm praying it's a sign seating <laughs>
back. He's coming on. He's my guitar. He's incredible. I um, I'm from a place called Calgary, Alberta. And um, you know, it's really interesting because I always go home for Christmas and for my birthday in the summer times. And um, I always found it to be such a weird feeling going back home, especially now living in LA and I just turned 21. Um, you know, it's really easy to think that here in LA I have my own apartment, I have my own job. I feel like I kind of have like my shit together in a sense. Um, and every single time I go home, it's really interesting because I feel like I always find myself going back to all my high school habits of um, being like a really fucking annoying little sister um, and being a pain in the ass to my parents and um, I never really knew why so um, I came back from the bar one day and I wrote this song and um, this one's called Calgary yeah! last year um, and that, it was really crazy because I felt like I was in this constant state of limbo with this person not really knowing if I should break up with them or if I should stay together with them so I uh, ended up writing a song about it and this one's called Stay Done <laughs>
Ricky. songs in my bedroom since I was like 13 years old and uh, I write a lot of songs about heartbreak or uh, things I'm pissed about but there's just one thing that I hate more than anything on this earth and you want to know what that is?
second. And say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for showing up tonight. And, uh, it means so much to me and you guys make my life so I appreciate you guys being here so much and I love you so much. I, uh, I'm just feeling very grateful right now so uh, you guys okay if I play a few more songs for you?
It's a coyote. It's a coyote. I waited there for no reason, technically. Actually, no. I don't know. I mean, if I didn't wait there, I would have seen Addison Ray even more. And then also Madison Beer was right there. Uh, like, hello. I thought I lost my car because it was like kind of like downhill. So like I didn't see it. But I technically waited there for no reason because I would have seen Addison Ray again because I did see her when I was sitting down. And then also I would have seen Madison Beer. Um, even though I didn't really see her in person, I went back to my camera and then I seen her. It's because someone was like, oh, it's Madison Beer and Addison right after they left. And I'm like, no way Madison was there. No way. Because I was just looking at Addison and freaking Kid Leroy was freaking there. I seen him. I seen him in person. Oh my God. I just wish I got a picture, but he's too famous for all that. And also when I was waiting to like, to see Tate McRae leave, someone was saying Justin Bieber was there. And I'm like, no way that's when you cross the line and then also when i was sitting down it looked like i did see him but i'm like no because he was like just sitting like in a regular chair like obviously he's like big so like why would he just sit in a regular red chair you know um but he was like on top more but like still in the regular chair and then i'm like killer roy is right there in the like little box area thing i mean like yeah he's her boyfriend he's her boyfriend yeah but justin bieber is like big like big in the music industry so like why would you just sit in a normal red chair you know so i was like no no way it's him and i see like people taking pictures but like i thought it was like because you know like at the greek theater and like any other theater people like take pictures like you know and get the stage in the back she slayed she ate she devoured she left no crumbs and also when taylor was leaving we seen olivia well we are 100 percent sure but like she looked like Olivia. That's what other people are saying too. They're like, oh my god, is that Olivia? No, it's not Olivia. Shouldn't she be like in another country or something doing her own tour? Maybe she flew out just to see Tate, but I don't know. And I did get a poster. I wasn't planning on getting anything, but every time I come to like a tour, specifically a tour, even like just a one day concert, um, I usually want to, I want to make a tradition to get like posters. So like, you know, I can have memories of like me going to that tour. What's supposed to come today so i'm so glad i did i see kid Leroy, i seen addison ray also addison ray was at her last concert and also olivia R rodrigo was at her last concert kid Leroy wasn't i think they were dating i don't know if they were they probably were he just didn't show up i don't know and i have to edit like four videos so i better get home i don't have to wake up early which is the sleigh today i woke up early so that's why i'm really tired even though I drink that energy drink, I'm still pretty tired. And I'm recording on my phone. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably noticed halfway through the show, my camera died, so that's the sleigh. But I have so many concerts coming up and I'm so freaking excited. Comment down below if you guys love my concert vlogs because before my weight loss and all that, my concert videos were like the most viral, like especially like Nessa Barrett's concert. That video like was the most viral before my weight loss. So I definitely want to do like a lot more concert videos. I also got a picture with a few people, uh, just two, I think. Um, I got a picture with, I totally forgot her name. What the heck? Julia, Julia, forgot her last name, but she plays in Sydney to the Max. I did meet her, I think twice um, at Ava Coker's music video shoot. I seen her again and I seen Lilia. 
I didn't take a picture with her though. I wanted to, but like, I was kind of embarrassed. I don't even know. I don't know why I was embarrassed. Like, I'm used to this by now. But I got a picture with her when like the security guards was like rushing us upstairs, um, because we couldn't like stand right there because we're like by Addison Ray, so they're like, move it, move it. So, and I took a picture with one of her dancers. Don't know his name. And then I also seen, I forgot her name, Lilia, but she's the um the girl who like recorded Culver's and Alex wedding okay guys I got scared because at midnight they're they're gonna like cite our car so like I had to leave yeah she's the one that recorded their like wedding before they even like posted it I'm gonna end this video here it's like 40 minutes to get home because it's almost midnight so it shouldn't be traffic but if you guys enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe comment down below what other YouTube videos you'd like to see next oh wait comment down below I keep forgetting to almost do like the emoji thing comment down below <gasps> Is there like a microphone emoji? Yeah. Comment down below the microphone emoji. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. We know that is peace, love, and happiness. Bye!